We want to thank God for all those who have been working hard and inviting people and, uh, uh, and, and talking to people and studying with people and uh, leading people to the kingdom of God. Uh, it's the Holy Amen. Spirit that leads souls to Jesus Christ. So as we Amen. trust the Lord, uh, he will do his thing as we do our part. May Amen. God bless us. Amen. Amen. I'm going to put our message for tonight on the screen. God's last message of mercy to mankind. God's last message of mercy to mankind. Let's bow our heads. Father, we thank you that you always uh, send your message of mercy to warn your people before mm. destruction comes. Yes. We pray that uh, you will prick our conscience and our hearts to repent and yield to you in this time in which we live when your message is going around the world uh, by the three angels. That we all, by your grace, will make our call and election sure. Yes, so Lord. It's no more. And probation is closed. And the angel's work is finished. And you let go of the winds of strife. We would have been sealed and ready for your coming. Bless us tonight. Yes. And seal us for your kingdom is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God's last message of mercy to mankind. God always is a merciful God. God always sends a message to prepare his people for major worldwide events which affect their eternal destiny. Uh, the Lord does not send judgment or destruction without warning. He always sends a message of mercy, of warning, uh, to prepare his people to escape destruction. Uh, we, we, we read that uh, in the Bible about, about, about Noah, in the time of Noah. Uh, the wickedness of man was great. And God was about to destroy the world with, with water. But before he sent water, he just didn't send water. Look at your Bible. He could have done it. He could have just sent water to destroy, but he didn't. He appointed a messenger. He called Noah, the prophet of the Lord, gave him a message. Noah, tell my people, destruction is coming and they should get their house in order. They should repent and be ready and change and, 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 and be, be ready for the destruction that is coming so they can escape it. So Noah preached. Noah preached. Noah, and even that, look at the mercy of God. 120 years of preaching and building the ark. Preaching and building the ark. Noah preached. And the people, 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 people laughed. People said, oh man, Noah is crazy. How is God going to bring uh, water? We have a, a, a rain or flood. We don't even see uh, rain. How much more flood? Uh, Noah is crazy. So they laughed at him. They laughed at him. And, and, and the Bible says uh, they, they ate and drank and, 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 and married and were given in marriage. And they did not pay attention. Uh, and they laughed and didn't care uh, until the time came, the ark was finished. And, 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 and it had to be occupied. And uh, animals went in, animals, animals went in. Animals by two and by seven went into the ark and were secured. And human beings were just watching and laughing. And they didn't care. Only eight people, eight human beings. And those eight people were Noah's family that were saved among the many people that lived in the world at the time. Eight people. And the door was shut. And the rain came and the flood came and it took them all out. God always sends a message yes, to prepare his people if they will listen. 
God will send a message to prepare his people before destruction. That's right. That's right. It's all over in the Bible. In the days of, 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 of Lot, God was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and the nations around. But God would not destroy. He said, I'm not willing that any should perish. I don't have any desire in the, in the death of the, of the sinner. I, I want to save him so bad. So God sent angels. Three angels came down with a message for Lot and the nations around. Repent and get out. Get out of Sodom, for Sodom will be destroyed. The sins of Sodom have reached heaven. And God will no longer countenance their sins. Judgment must come. But God is merciful. Amen. That's right. And his angels to get them out. Escape for your dear life. Lord. And Lord and his family lingered and lingered and lingered too long. That's right. Brimstone and fire coming down. But they were lingering until the angels have to usher them out. And then destruction came. But the beautiful thing about God is that he doesn't send judgment or destruction without sending warning. warning. Mm. That's right. That's correct. And it applies to our day. In the book of Re Revelation, God has his final message. Revelation reveals God's last day message. His last message of mercy before destruction is revealed in the book of Revelation for us today that we also may repent and get ready before destruction. So, Deer Park, New York, hear God's last message of mercy mm -hmm. for your salvation depends on it revelation 14 6 then i saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth to every nation tribe tongue and people that means everybody it's a global message. It's a worldwide message. It's a message for every living being in these last days. Every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. Oh. Uh, 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 what to do? What, what was the message? It says, then I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach. To every creature. Everlasting gospel. Let's First of all, let's look at everlasting gospel. The gospel is good news of salvation. Gospel, good news. And the gospel has to deal with Jesus and his salvation he brought to mankind. For, for, for God so loved the world. Amen. And he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have a uh, lasting life. That is good news. Because right. all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned. And the wages yeah. of sin is death. But God said, no, I don't want them to die. I don't want them to perish. And, and for them to die, I will die. So God sent his son. And his son came. Die on our behalf. Oh, what a beautiful gospel. That's what you call it gospel. Gospel just means good news. It's just good news. Good news. Free salvation. For God, anyone who is willing to receive. To them that receive him. He gave them power to become sons of God. And so 1 Corinthians 15 verse 3. Paul tells us about the gospel. For I delivered to you first of all that which I also received. That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. 
Yes, it didn't happen. It didn't just happen in the New Testament. It had been written in the Old Testament. Isaiah 53, Christ died for our sins. That Paul is reporting what has already been predicted to happen, that God will send his son to die on our behalf. And that he was buried. We're talking the gospel, the good news. And that he rose again. My goodness, good news, good news. And the first day, according to the scriptures, he, he came, he lived righteous, holy life. He died, he was buried, he rose again the third day, uh, according to the scriptures. Good news. And that's what the angels are proclaiming in the last days. It's called the everlasting gospel. Christ died for our sins. He was less led as a lamb to the slaughter. As a, and as a sheep before his shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. But he told them, lest you think that you are the ones that are killing me. He said, no, 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 no. I got power to lay down my life. You can kill me. You can take my life from me. I have power to lay down my life. And I have power to take it back. And I'm doing this of, of my free will, of my accord, of my own accord. That I give my life to those who receive me. Yes, Lord. And so, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. Mm. That he gave his only begotten son, only one of a kind. That whoever, it doesn't matter who you are. Whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, Amen. those of us who have believed in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, can we shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Yes, the promise says we will never perish. We will never perish That's by the right. heart. That's right. Everlasting life. I claim it in Jesus' name. So the yes. gospel, everlasting gospel teaches that Christ died for our sins and Christ lived Christ for Christ lived a perfect life. Christ's perfect life record is put in place of my sinful records. Uh, the sinful records of all who accept him. So, so if you accepted Christ, your record of sin is wiped out. Can somebody say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, it's wiped out clean. Your, 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 your page is clean. Mm. Sins are in the past wiped away. The blood has taken care of your sins. Yes, Lord. The good news. And Jesus, mm. Jesus rose again. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's one thing to die and be buried. But if you can't rise again, that will not be good news. But the good news is that Jesus rose again. Can someone say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Christ died for our sins. Christ lived a perfect life. Christ rose from the dead. And Christ ascended to the Father. Not only did he rise from the grave, he also ascended unto God there to intercede on our behalf and come again to receive us unto himself. So the angel, angel told the disciples, uh, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye here gazing into heavens? Uh, the same Jesus who is taken away from you is coming in the same way. As he was taken from you. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. There are, some, amen. there are some people, some people who think that who think that Jesus Christ is going to come in secrecy. He is oh. he's secret. He's coming. Is Jesus is coming in secret? Oh, what, is afraid of? what is Jesus afraid of to come in secret to snatch his people in secrecy to go? You call it secret rapture and some other denominations. Oh, he has already come in secret. No, sir. No, oh. the angel mm -hmm. said the same Jesus. Yes, you have seen taken yes. up will come in the same manner as he was as you see him go. So he's coming uh, visibly and audibly and gloriously. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 And so now he ascended up on high. And he's on the right hand side of the majesty of the heavens. And he is now interceding on our behalf. 
and uh, he is atoning, atoning for our sins by his own blood. Mm. So anyone, he said, if you say you have no sin, you deceive yourselves. And the truth, is, the truth is not in you. But if you confess your sins, I am faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And then he will cleanse you, wipe your sins clean, write your name in the book of life and, 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 and finish atonement for you and, uh, and get you ready for the coming of the Lord. Can somebody say amen? Amen, amen. amen. again, amen again. Uh, if your question is what must I do to be saved? Oh, the answer is the everlasting gospel. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. Everlasting gospel. Jesus lived a perfect life. Jesus died, was buried, and resurrected. Jesus ascended on high. Jesus is interceding for us. And Jesus is coming again to receive amen. us unto himself. Amen. So the message of the first angel is... Uh, uh, what, okay, what's the message of the first angel? What are we supposed to be doing? What are the angels telling us to do in the light of the everlasting God? Why are we supposed to do it? And why is it so critically important? So what is this message of warning the angels are proclaiming in our last days before Jesus comes? What's involved in it? All right. So... Let's deal with the first one first. What are we supposed to be doing now? He says, fear God and give glory to him. Oh, for the hour of his judgment has come. Brethren, it's not will come, but has come. The judgment is here. King James Version says, the judgment is come. And then they say, worship him who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and the fountains of waters remember when they call for worship they also call for worship and, and, and they tell you who to worship god oh god man god doesn't do his things haphazard when he when he calls for worship he also tells you who to worship and who to uh, and and how to worship and when to worship so he says ah uh, uh fear god and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come which means that we are going to be judged. We, uh, 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 we, our, our lives are going to be judged, and the judgment is in connection to to uh, our 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 worship. Are we worshiping the Creator or we are worshiping the creature? So they point us to who to worship, and worship Him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. Hey, my brothers and my sisters, make sure whoever you are worshiping is the one who made the heavens and the earth. What does it mean to fear God? All right. To fear God means to respect or reverence God by obeying him. Obedience. Show your fear or reverence for God by your obedience. And you got some some churches, some uh, groups talking about, oh, we, we are saved by faith, and that's it. You don't do nothing. Uh, you just you just sin and 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 ask for uh, forgiveness and sin and go on and sin some more and ask for forgiveness and go on and sin some more and ask for forgiveness and sin and forgiveness and sin. No, sir. So shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Paul says, God forbid. Mm -hmm. That's true. We can continue in sin one way after grace has come. Grace is power. Mm. He said, My grace is sufficient unto you, it's power to overcome. That's right. Make it plain. So uh Ecclesiastes to give glory to God. What does he mean? What does he mean? Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Brethren. This is what God requires of us. Before judgment. Mm -hmm. Because James said. We shall be judged by the law of liberty. So God, God is so good. God, man, God is so beautiful. God is not uh, British teachers or Ghanaian teachers. Or maybe even West Indian teachers. Or, uh, God is closer to American teachers 
What, what do I mean? Uh, when, I came, when I came to America and I went to school in America, I realized that American teachers, uh, before they give you the examination, they, go, they review the text, test uh, uh, for you to know what's going to come on the test. I said, Lord have mercy. This is beautiful. <laughs> and, and that's, what, that's what God is like that. The British, British system, no, 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 no. They, they give you books, books, and books. So go read all those books before the test. And sometimes you read all kinds of books and you come to the test and it's not there. And yet you read. But American teachers, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Come on, preacher. American teachers, they are like, they are like Elder Ricketts. Last time he was giving the test to the to the to the uh, 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 audience, and he gave them the answer. <laughs> yes. so, All right. So well. God is so good; He gives us the answers before the test. So, oh, make it play. What a God! The, he says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. You're going to go to the test. You're going to go to the judgment. Let me give you the, 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 the tips before the test. Come yes. on now. And what keep God. his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. The whole duty of man. This is on the test. That's right. Yes, sir. Make it plain, preacher. Make it plain. This is on the test. Fear God and give his give him the glory. It means to keep his commandments. So Proverbs, oh, my, son, my son, do not forget my law, but mm. let your heart keep my commandments. commandments. Yes. And so the angels are proclaiming the last message of warning to the inhabitants of the earth right now. And choices are being made. And there's going to be two groups of people on this planet. Those who uh, keep the commandment of God and have the faith of Jesus Christ on one hand, and those who do their own thing. They, 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 they make up their own laws and their own rules. And they choose some commandment to obey and some not to obey. And they do their own thing. Oh, they are all in one category. Only mm. who keep God's Ten Commandments and their faith in Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, they are the ones being prepared for salvation. Can somebody say amen? That's right, that's right, that's right. I'll give you the text. Revelation 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Saints, the righteous, those who are being prepared for heaven. Here is the patience of the, of the saints. Ah, well, who are they? Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. Can somebody say it? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 This identifying marks, obedience to God and faith in Jesus, characterize all the faithful children of God from Adam to the last person on this planet. That's right. That's right. Make it plain. All the faithful children of God from Genesis to Revelation all had these two things in common. They, be, they, they kept the commandment of God mm. and had faith in Jesus as the, as, the, as the Messiah or as their Savior. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Amen. So, so, so this identifies all God's children from, 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 from Genesis to Revelation. And if you are God's child, you must be among this group. So the angel says, the angel says, fear God. And give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment has come. Oh, the test has come. God has already given you the tips for the mm. test. And you just have to apply it to your life. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you power to be obedient unto God. Give glory. Yes. Give glory to him. What does it mean to give glory to God? What does it mean to give glory to God? To give glory to God means to praise him in our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. in our lifestyle first corinthians 10 31 therefore whether you eat or drink or whatever you do do all to the glory of god your whole life must be lived in giving glory to god 
That's right. So what are we supposed to be doing and why are we supposed to do it? All right. And who is this message calling us to worship? All right. The angels say, or the angels say, and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of waters. They don't leave us to fumble our way uh, through. They show us who to worship. So we do not, uh, we are not lost when the time comes. So who is this message calling us to worship? The creator of heaven and earth. The creator of heaven and earth. Um, 2300 years ended in 1844 and two movements were born. Uh, it's so interesting, brethren. At the same time when the angels began to preach this everlasting gospel at the end of the 2300 years, uh, beginning from 1844, Two movements were born in this world. Two movements simultaneously at the same time. One movement, God's prophetic movement represented by the angels, the three angels, directed men to the worship of the creator and preached judgment, our message. Same time, secular philosophical movement inspired by demonic forces was born evolution, evolutionary theory, was born to counteract the concept of creation and directed men away from the creator. You think this thing is coincidence? The devil was at work. At the time when the pioneers were preaching the, the judgment hour message, pointing people's mind and heart to the creator God, and to worship him on his holy Sabbath day. There was a secular philosophical movement. Darwinism. Proclaiming there is no God. You see two movements. Same time. In opposing, uh, opposing uh, uh, themselves. So that same time. When the angels were directing men's heart to God, worship him who made heaven and earth, there was another movement directing people's mind to the creature. Away from the creator. Talking about we evolved. So the counteracting, the devil was counter, counter, counteracting the message of the angels. But the devil is a liar. So the message must be preached in all the world. But the devil began to counteract the message of the three angels. But the Bible says, we worship the only one who made the heaven and the earth. And Revelation 4, 11 says, you are worthy. Why do we worship him? You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created. Why are we worshiping you? You created all things. And by your will, they exist and were created. That's why the angels are directing our minds to the worship of the only one who made the heavens and the earth. But there's an imposter. There's an imposter who is intercepting the ministry of Jesus and of God and directing worship to him in the last days. And if you are not worshipping the creator, you are worshipping the creature. And whereas the creator will seal you for eternity, the creature will give you his mark. So either you worship the creator or you worship the creature. Uh, the Bible revelation called the beast. Who are you worshipping today? If you are not worshipping God, the God of the Bible who made the heavens and the earth, and worshiping him on his day, Saturday, Sabbath. You are worshiping the creature who introduced counterfeit Sabbath, Sunday. It's a serious matter. Mm -hmm. It's a serious matter. So the message uh, of first angel, what are we supposed to be doing? Why are we supposed to do it? Why is it so critically important? Yes, if you are not worshiping the creator, you are worshiping the devil. 
And what event does this message prepare all humanity for? Ah, Revelation 14, 15. Take your sickle and reap because the time to reap has come. For the harvest judgment, the harvest of the earth is ripe. <laughs> judgment is ripe. Judgment is going on. And what is the meaning of Revelation's symbol of the harvest? It just mm. for judgment. When Jesus comes, Je Jesus will finish judgment before he comes to take his children. Because by the time he comes, judgment is already done. So he knows who are, uh, are prepared and ready for the kingdom and those who are to be destroyed. That's true. That's right. Therefore, the hour of his judgment has come. So Matthew 13, 39. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. Brethren, we have, no, we have not much time. Jesus is coming soon. But before he comes, judgment must be completed. And so the angel says, uh, the angel says, fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment has come right now, right now, right now, today. We are actually living in the time of God's investigative judgment. The angels say, or the angels say, the, uh, the hour of his judgment has come. We are not waiting till Jesus comes before uh, we are judged. We are being judged now. That's right. Make it plain, now. Pastor. We are, we are, some of us are actually called to stand before the bar of justice, before the judgment seat of Christ right now. That's correct. Correct. When your name comes up, your, 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 your call before the judgment seat of Christ to give an account of your life. Yes. And um, if you are found in disobedience, your name is rooted out from the book of life. Yes. And it's entered into the book of death. And uh, probation is closed on you. That's what is going on right now. The books are being investigated. Our lives are being investigated. Our records are already uh, in heaven. And, and the angels are investigating our records. And when God, when God calls your name and... Uh, 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 and your and your and your life come in review. You can play games in the in the in the river or on the banks. You better be in Christ. Can somebody say Amen? Amen. amen. The amen. Lord of Jesus, His Son, will amen. cleanse you from all of. That's why I said, if you confess, if I said, I, you, I know you are a sinner, but if you confess your sin right now, whatever you have done, uh, uh, if you confess your sin. Uh, I am faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So you don't have to be afraid of judgment if you are in Christ and you are you are you have surrendered your life to do God's will. Amen. He will seal you unto eternity. Revelation is a book about eternal choices. So right now, uh, God is calling His children to make that eternal choice. Mm. Uh, who is on the Lord's side? Uh, choose ye this day whom you will serve. That's for me and my house. We mm. shall serve the Lord. Can somebody say Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 When, when, these, when these eternal choices have been made, right? Be, uh, uh, as Jesus is standing in, 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 uh, before the Lord and making atonement and blotting out our transgressions, as our, our, as our confession goes up uh, 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 and, and we are forgiven and we are cleansed and our sins are blotted out of the book of death and our names are put in the book of life and, and the last person is judged and, and, and the books are closed. Uh, the, the, the last thing Jesus is going to say before he comes, Revelation chapter 22 verse 11, he who is unjust, let him be unjust still. Mm -hmm. He who is filthy because you did not allow him to cleanse you. Let him be filthy still. 
He who is righteous because you surrendered your life to God to cleanse you and, and to and to and to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness and and clothe you with the robe of right his righteousness. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is holy, let him be still. This is a seal. After this, you can never go back. If you are righteous, never go back to iniquity. If you are wicked, you can never go into righteousness. It's done. It's done. It's done. After this, there's no more mercy. It's no. done. It's finished. Mercy is right. work. That's the truth, Pastor. Judgment that is coming. The final uh, executive judgment that is coming. After this. And, and so, okay, Revelation 22, verse 11. Let's see verse 12. Right after this, he says, And behold, mm. I am coming quickly. Nothing more to do. Done. Coming quickly. And my reward Lord. is with you. Mm -hmm. to everyone according to his work. It's done. It's finished. Yeah, says, that's the gospel. That's the gospel right there. So, 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 some people are waiting. They're waiting. They say, Oh, when I see him come, I'm going to repent. Too late. Oh, yes. Too late. People are playing jokes, even in the church. Mm -hmm. Mercy. Instead of giving your heart, when a message is preached and, and, and the hearts are convicted, instead of surrendering, they get angry and they don't come back. Mercy. You Lord, are help us. Your life for hell. Mm. That's the same thing they did in Noah's day. Mm hmm. God sent warning instead of repentance, they got angry. They laughed. Mm -hmm. They boycott the, the, the ark. Mm -hmm. The door was shut. Yes. Games with their lives. Mm -hmm. And probation has closed. And now they're banging on the door. Mercy. The time of repentance is over. Yes. This shut is just Remain just forever. Mm -hmm. He that is wicked, remain wicked forever. It's done. Mm -hmm. Help and, us, Lord. And it's not many people who are going to heaven. Brethren, it's sobering thought to say that. But those who know the truth and preach the truth, they have to tell the truth. And the truth is not many people that are going to heaven. That's the truth. That's the gospel truth. Evangelist day eight. Mm -hmm. Lost a little bit. Lost mm -hmm. day. Lost day three of mm -hmm. Church, Adam, Gomorrah and the cities about them. Three souls. Mm -hmm. When you see your neighbor playing games with the salvation, don't look at him. Don't look at her. Don't watch them. Your salvation is important to you. That's why you come to church. That's right. That's right. So many people be so lost, they don't know what happened to them. They're playing games. Mercy. It will be over. Said, I'm coming quickly. And my reward is with me. To give every man, every man, as his work. Reverend, whatever you sow, you shall reap. Our God said, our, you, you, oh, our God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, garbage in, garbage out. That you shall reap. Brethren, it's a sobering message. This message is the last message of warning to God's people before probation closes. Mm. And Jesus comes. Oh boy, oh boy. Mm -hmm. But Help Jesus us, Lord. is coming. Can you say amen? Amen, amen. Hey, because the Bible says that um, God is preparing a new heaven, a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Yes. God is not preparing sin, sin, Brought Satan down here. You think mm -hmm. it, it, it's taking you up there? No. You no. got sin in your life that you don't want to repent and confess 
and 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 repent you and, and convert from and you hold on to it like a, a candy that you love to suck on and like cake that you eat before you go to bed you love oh. sin hmm. The angels are proclaiming the last message of mercy, warning for, to the world before judgment shall come. Mm. And I'm not talking about investigative judgment. That's taking place right now. I'm talking about the executive judgment. And God will bring his reward to destroy the wicked. So the, 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 the message of the first angel is a call to accept the everlasting gospel. It's a call to loving obedience. It's a call to give glory to God in all our lives. It's a call to worship only the creator. It's, a, it's an urgent call to live godly lives in the light of earth's final judgment. Then... Uh, a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God. It's over. Which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. That's what I tell you, the last message of mercy, because he says over here, uh, he himself shall drink the, the, the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out for strength. King James says, without mixture. What does he mean without mixture? Without mixture means that this judgment, God's judgment has always been mixed with mercy. mercy. Mm -hmm. But this time, after mm -hmm. folks have rejected the three angels' messages of the last days, of the last warning, no more mercy left. Mm. The wrath of God is poured out without mixture. And like Sodom and Gomorrah, and they will be tormented uh, 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 into it. Uh, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone like Sodom and Gomorrah in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. No more mercy. And God and the Bible says, even so, even so, I think John is the one saying this after God has given his message. And John said, oh Lord, even so, if that's the case, even so, Lord God Almighty, True and righteous are your judgments. And that's what we are going to be saying too when we make it to glory. Even so, Lord God Almighty. Lord God, Lord Almighty. Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are your judgments. Brethren, if you don't make it to heaven, God will still be righteous. His judgment will still be righteous. Because there will be a reason why you didn't make it. And when we go to heaven, God will give us the books to go over. Because the records are there. To go over. Why didn't brother so-and-so come to heaven? Why didn't sister so-and-so, she was so holy, holy, holy. Why didn't she come up here? And God said, go take the book. And look in there. Hmm. Look at what she was doing on the cover. Look at what he was doing under the carpet. And all the, our, our life stories will be revealed. And God, at the end of the day, will proclaim, even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are your judgments. So 14, 7, Revelation, fear God, and give glory to him for the hour of of the judgment has come. And worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea, and the spring of waters. Brethren, this message is a message of warning and it's a message of calling. It's a, it's a call to every soul 
every nation, kindred, tongue, and people, everybody, to make a decision to, to surrender to God and worship the creator on his terms. That's it. On God's terms. If you want to make it to glory, on God's terms. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandment of God and the faith of Jesus. And when people are arguing with you, oh, uh, you can choose any day and go and go to and go to the church. You can, oh, really? You can choose any day to worship God. And, 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 and what happened to God's will, God's law, God's day? You can you human being can choose what you want to do, how you want to worship God, and, and choose your own day. You have a heaven. You human being, you have a heaven to give to somebody, and you're going to do your own thing. Before God, all right. Brethren, it's a, it's a message of decision. To say from here on or out, by God's grace, I'm going to surrender, submit my soul to God and do and, and ask the, for the power of the Holy Spirit to do only God's will, no matter what. That's it. People are waiting and waiting, waiting, waiting till they see Jesus Christ and then they repent. It's over. Too late. So, brethren, tonight, don't wait till it's too late on your life. When we are young, we say, oh, I'm too young to think about God. Then we get a little older. Oh, too self-sufficient. Teenager, too self-sufficient to think about God. I'm all about myself. Me, me, myself, and I, and and and, uh, and uh, painting, painting my mouth, and painting my nose, and painting my my. Uh, 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 I am all absorbed in myself. Don't trouble me. I got no time for God. Oh, really? And then they get a little, they get a little older. Uh, 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 and, 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 and they engage in parties, and and they too, uh, they have too much. They are too much happy. Too happy to think about God. They go to the clubs and and they and they live in. Ah, okay. And then and then and then and then and then they, they made money. And they opened some companies and 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 and, 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 and created wealth. And they became too busy to think about God. And there are some folks. I mean, like like we're doing crusade. A, 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 a folks cannot turn on their phone. At home or even at work, somewhere you are all in your office and, and listen to God's word for the last days. Uh, people are busy. Or uh, even God's people are busy, too busy for God. Hmm. Mercy. Help us, Father. Oh, too busy to think about God. All right. And then they get older. <laughs> they get older. They can't even walk anymore. Mercy. They, they have their, they have, they, they can't even walk anymore. Everything hurt. Mercy. Now, and now, and now what they say? They say, oh, I'm, I'm I just, am. I'm just too tired to think about God. Oh, really? Yeah. Your whole life, no God. The days of Noah, they were, they were, they were, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. They did not think about God until the flood came and wiped them all out. God is not playing games. And now, too late. Too late to think about God. <laughs> and it's over. And it's over. Yeah. Brethren, as it was in the days of Noah, God sent a warning. Last message of mercy to the inhabitants of the antediluvian world. Repent and get into the ark. That was it. Simple message. Repent. Change your heart and get into the ark. 
the, uh, the, 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 the Lord is bringing flood to destroy the earth. Right. They no, they didn't. Animals went into the ark. Hmm. And human beings perished in the flood. The same. Yes. Jesus says the same thing is going to happen in our time. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Make it plain, preacher. Same thing. And this is predicted prophecy. Jesus predicted it. He says the same thing is going to happen. The message will be preached in all the world. But human beings' hearts will be hardened. They will not heed the truth until it's all over. But then the same thing is happening. How many people are, are we have on Zoom? 22? You're talking about God's last message of mercy that you only have to tune in by your phone and you don't have time? Same thing is happening. Yes. That's Man true. will no longer uh, uh, have a desire for the truth. They will, they, will, they will close their ears to the truth. They will not have time for God. Eating and drinking and marrying, uh, marrying and, and giving in marriage. You think if we were, we, we were distributing $1,000 each on this platform today, we will have 22? No. no. <laughs> we were distributing... Hundred dollars, hundred dollars. <laughs> Twenty-two? No, sir. It's because man has reached a point like the time of Noah. They don't want to hear God's word anymore. But God is not going to wait any longer. No. When time strikes midnight, he's mm -hmm. coming. He that is just mm -hmm. remain just still. Mm -hmm. He that is filthy, remain filthy still. Mm. Behold, I come quickly. quickly. My Lord. Lord is with me. If I be man. Brethren, Jesus is making up his number. That's all is hap happening. So the Lord is not slack on sending his promise. He's coming. But, 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 but he's long suffering. Look at the name, the, the word, the meaning, um, the, 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 the word, the nature of the word. Long suffering. It means suffering long. Not willing that any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. Repentance. He's making up his number. But one day, the last soul, the last soul will be sealed. And it will be over. You don't want to be lost. You don't want to suffer on this planet and go suffer in hell before you perish. Last time I was doing an exercise on the bike. I thought I was young. Hmm, all right, well. <laughs> and I did exercise and, and I was not feel, uh, my, 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 I was feeling pains, but I thought, you know, when you do exercise, you're supposed to feel a little pain and then it goes down. And then I, I jump on it again and, and I was feeling pains and it wasn't going down. And I said, well, you know, exercise is supposed to, even though I'm feeling pain, it's going to be all right. My muscle is going to just tone and tone up and I'm going to be fine. Oh my goodness, the third time or some other time, I realized the exercise is actually killing me. <laughs> <laughs> My muscles were all jumbled up. And I, 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 walking was difficult. What? What's going on? Mm. I am getting old. Well. I am getting old. And brethren, time is not on our side. We don't have time to delay. Every time, every day we fail to make a decision. We are gradually hardening our hearts. Hmm. And it will be over. We are now before the judgment bar of God. Hmm. Our cases are being decided. And Jesus is making up his number. 
and he's calling you, my son, my daughter, give me your heart. Your heart. Mm -hmm. So I will number you among the saints. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandment of God and the faith of God. Amen. Are you willing to surrender your life to Christ? Already surrendered. For him to prepare you for the kingdom, to seal you for glory, to write your name in the book of life, to give you power to, to, to obey his will and to be an overcomer. When he comes, only those who are sealed will be taken up to glory. I want to be in that number. I want to be in that number. How about you? Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. This is a sobering message tonight. It's a message about the last... It's, it's the last message of mercy from God to prepare his people before calamity begins to happen it done start already it started already sister you're right the plague is on the land already the plague is already on the land maybe not the seven last plague but but it's a it's a reminder of the seven last plague it's a reminder so judgments are already in the land mm -hmm. and god is calling his people to make the decision before he let go of the four winds of the earth before he closes probation. Is there somebody tonight who says, yes, Jesus, tonight? Is there somebody tonight? Yes, Jesus. Is there somebody tonight? Yes, Jesus. I will follow you, Savior. I give you my life. I surrender all to you. Make me, mold me, change me, break me, and make me. Yes, Lord. After your will. Yes, Lord. Whatever in me that will prevent me from making it to glory, I give you permission, God. I give you permission to break me. If you have to break me and make me after your image, do it. Amen. So I want to go to hell. Oh, yes. And I'm not, I don't, I will not preach it if I don't believe it, that this thing I'm preaching is true. And there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, a woman, but the end thereof is a way of death. Come back to God. No matter your condition tonight, he's willing to receive you and save you. God bless you, those whose hands are up. But it doesn't hurt to make decisions night after night. Paul says, I die daily. Amen. Salvation is every day affair. Mm. And that day that you are making that decision, Jesus, God is sending the spirit to purify your heart and transform your soul and change you from within and make you his child. And put his spirit in you. That's the call tonight. It's for everybody. To respond to the three angels' message. Lord, I yield to you. Have your way in my life. Amen. 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 Brethren, 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 time is running. Time is running out. We don't have much time. Every indication says that we are the tip of the coming of the Lord. And all that is left is for this judgment to be finished. Probation closes. And he comes to take us home. If you have not finalized your election with Christ, tonight you have the opportunity. Is there somebody else that's going to say yes to Jesus? Just, just take me and make me after your image, after your will. Just, just, just use me. And that's all we're saying. Lord, take over. Take yes. over. I give you my heart. I give you my life. Give you my will. Use me oh. to use the people of old. 
I surrender. Yes. Is there somebody else before the prayer? Is there somebody else? Tonight, make your calling in relationship. 